video is for anyone who's thinking about moving abroad as a digital nomad. Let's talk about visas. All over the world, countries are establishing entrepreneur and self-employed visas so foreign investors and digital nomads can come and establish a business there. Whether it's the German entrepreneur visa or the non-lucrative visa in Spain, there are so many options all over the world. Have you heard about the Barbados entrepreneur visa? It's one full year in paradise. Go! In this video, you're going to learn about three of my favorite entrepreneur visas and how you can obtain them. If you're watching this video, you've probably seen other videos like it about fabulous digital nomads who go to Bali and live in the rice fields and live their hashtag best life. But you know what? It's probably a lie. As a former digital nomad myself, I hopped around the world on student visas and tourist visas and it was crazy stressful. The average tourist visa is only good for 30 to 90 days. So each time I would need to leave that country and come back, or maybe they wouldn't even let me back in. Like, it's really a crapshoot. Digital nomads have historically not been in particularly black and white categories for visas until now. Now the main difference between a digital nomad or entrepreneur visa and a startup visa is really how much money you bring to the table. If you're making less than $60,000 a year, I would recommend that you go for a digital nomad visa because the startup visas often require sixty dollars to $100,000 in startup capital, which will be pretty steep for most people. Remember, if you're living outside of America, the cost of living is drastically different. You can live pretty much anywhere on less than $30,000 a year and live very comfortably, except for Rome, Paris, London, Munich, where I live. Just avoid the major cities and you'll be able to afford living there just fine. With these visas, you also have access to public services and healthcare. So I'm not sure why people aren't doing this, guys. Get out there. So let's talk about what a digital nomad is. If this process seems at all daunting, don't worry, I have you covered. Join my How to Move Abroad Masterclass. It's a five week online learning program and it walks you through the end to end process. We talked about everything from choosing a country based off of your values, visas, logistics, how to make friends, how to learn a language. And three times a year I run live classes so you actually get to meet other people trying to do the exact same thing as you. Check out the description section for more information. Startyourgreatescape.com now, the idea of obtaining a visa can seem a little daunting to some people. I think I've made roughly 40 visa applications, so I'm really not afraid of this anymore. It, it's been crazy, for sure, but that's because I didn't have anyone helping me, and I've always done all of my own visa paperwork by myself. No lawyers, no fancy companies, just me. Here are my top three digital nomad visa options. First up, Estonia. Estonia's Digital Nomad Visa, or the DNV, is legendary. A few of the qualifications include, you must prove that you can work independent of location and perform your work duties remotely. You have to have an active work contract with a company outside of Estonia, or you have to be able to prove that you have international clients that will continue to work with you so you don't become a burden on the system. There's an income threshold of 3,500 euros, so you're going to need to prove that you can hit that month after month before taxes and deductions, so it makes it a little bit easier. As a reminder, this is for informational purposes only. This is not legal tax or immigration advice. Please consult a licensed professional before making any sort of decisions. Next up, we have the German Freelancer Visa, or the Freelance Freiberufere. Freiberuf? visa. My German's getting there. For this visa, Germany allows a lot of flexibility. So anyone in the engineering, art, music world can apply for this visa and potentially get it. There are, of course, a few requirements. First, in your application, you have to provide the following. Your CV, proof of income, proof of freelance employment, so income, clients, stuff like that, a financial plan, revenue forecasting, 
If you're a professional, like a lawyer or a therapist, you need to prove that you have those qualifications and certificates. Health insurance, which you can purchase privately, don't worry. And pension plan if you're over 45. Then you'll go to your interview appointment, talk a little bit about your business, hand over the documents, and voila, you're in. Next, we have the Mexican Temporary Resident Visa. For people who want to reside in Mexico for 180 days or more, this is the option for you. In order to be eligible for the temporary resident visa, you'll need to provide the following. First, you need to show that you have enough funds to fully support yourself while in Mexico. You need to demonstrate that you have at least $20,000 in the bank, and you need to prove that you have over 800 US dollars a month in income per month. The temporary resident visa will likely be for about a year at first, and then you can continue to renew it. You can continue to renew it for up to four years, and then you can explore a more permanent resident sort of situation. Uh, working remotely from Tulum sounds amazing. Who wouldn't want to live in Mexico? So those were my top three digital nomad and entrepreneur visas that are available in different countries around the world. Of course, there's way more, such as in Thailand, Costa Rica, Barbados, Spain, but this was just a little taste. If you're thinking about moving abroad and working as a digital nomad, drop a comment down below and let me know where you're going. Maybe I can help. And of course, if you want to be handheld through the move abroad process, definitely check out my move abroad masterclass at startyourgreatescape.com. That's it for me. Definitely say hi on Instagram. I'm always posting about cool and innovative ways to build a better life abroad. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos every week.